So this is going to be a real quick vid on um, using a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 as a mobile desktop or workstation and um, along with a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard and I'm going to be using the Apple one here. But uh, you see the mouse is just a real cheap mouse I got off eBay, standard Bluetooth and uh, the pretty aluminum Apple Bluetooth keyboard here. And I'm going to be using the uh, MHL video cable that I showed in my other video, you find the link below and um, let's get to it. So go ahead and enable the Bluetooth on the Note 2 and we can see that it already sees the Bluetooth keyboard and the Bluetooth mouse. So let's go ahead and try the mouse first. You gotta make sure that it's on and in connect mode. Hey, you see it didn't see it there. Let's go ahead and try that again. Make sure that the mouse is ready to accept incoming connections and we'll go ahead and try and pair it up again. Alright and it's asking for our pin uh, this one just uses the uh, four zeros. I think it does at least. And hit OK. OK, and we see that it connected and the mouse is now working. It's kind of weird seeing a, um, a cursor on your Android device, but uh, it actually works pretty well for it. And now let's go ahead and try and connect to the uh, the keyboard now. Let me see it did the same thing. Let's go ahead and make sure it's on and uh, accepting connections and try that again. Okay, so you see that it tells us type in the pin number on the keyboard and hit enter and it'll sync up the uh, the pin. Uh, and it's a different pin every time with this keyboard. But uh, there you go, you see that the uh, keyboard is officially connected and working. And that's it, so you kind of have a full blown desktop, you could use it like that. It works really well for uh, texting and stuff like that, and uh, just browsing with the mouse is, is pretty nice. But you see it works just like a normal desktop would. And you can type in everything and it all works well. So to make the whole setup even sweeter, if you have the MHL cable, um, like I said, I'll put the link below, I have a video on how to set that up and get that going. But uh, if you have that, then you can set this whole thing up and use an external monitor as well, which works really well if you have, like, uh, say, like a desk at work or something where you can set this up and just go and plug it in and everything. But uh, you have a full-blown Android desktop, and you can do pretty much everything you would on a uh, normal desktop on your Note 2.